Hey, hey, hey there, Scorpio. How's it going? Uh, sorry, I wasn't prepared. I guess I am now. Hope you enjoyed your October. Had to get the mic straightened out. Let's see what's going on here. This is for the first week of November here, Scorpio. And let us, let us see what is going on. Let's pull a, pull a rock out here. Hmm. Hajalaz. Hajalaz. Chaos. No, actually it's not that bad really because of, of where it's at in that <clears throat> in that reading. Um yeah, that's normally not a really good car <laughs> really good rune. Um it means chaos and uh, you know, and destruction. But it, it, it's that's not all it means. So <laughs> that's just what primarily what it means. Let's find a card for that. <clears throat> Actually, uh, where it's at there, it's we'll have to see what other runes come up with it. So let me see here. Ah, there it is. How'd you lies? All right, so let's put that there, make sure you can still see that. Okay, let's pull another one out here. Hmm. Awas. Awas. So, Awas is new beginnings so what I'm seeing with this is a major transformation the building's been torn down and and it's getting rebuilt right here let's try to find a card for that <clears throat> you ever seen the 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 tower card in the tarot that's kind of like what this is in a, in a sense not necessarily they're quite different, but, you know, this does mean chaos and destruction, and this is a brand new start, so. It's like I said, the building's been torn down, and it's being rebuilt for new. So, that means great transformation. <clears throat> so, you guys are going through a big transformation right now, as is a lot of other people. Um... It's just something that's going on worldwide. It's pretty crazy. But you're going through a major transformation. Alright, that's going to probably go on for a while. Let's, let's see what's going on here a little bit more recently for you for like this week or something. Ewas next to Awas. <laughs> so, here coming up this week, it seems like, um, there's the card for that. Coming up this week, it seems like you're going to be, you know, meeting somebody or, this, this represents friendships, um, relationships um, yeah so you're going to be meeting somebody somebody it looks like somebody new is coming into your into your uh, life it I don't know it might be somebody new it probably is doesn't necessarily have to be somebody new but you, you've you're getting a new beginning that's for sure and so this represents really close friends or or partnerships or relationships. Huh. Let's pull another one out here. Urus. Urus. Hmm. That's kind of a cool rune. Kind of cool looking anyway. So Uru's, um, let me get the card for that. 
Uru's represents brute strength, untamable power. You know, this rune. Here it is. Here's the card. Uru's. So, this particular rune talks about, you know, this particular uh, rune was named after. Um, a wild European uh, beast called the aurochs and the aurochs is now extinct but the aurochs had unbelievable massive power and strength but the thing is is it could never be tamed so yeah that's what that rune is talking about here so but basically um, this is saying to you to um, to just to just watch don't force anything on anybody all right because this is definitely warning you not to force anything on anybody don't try to buy your way through something or because um, if this is involving like a, a relationship over here um, that you wish to you know pursue or something to that nature um, you definitely don't want to try to force the na force anything because it'll turn out very negatively and that's what this is saying right here so yeah but it looks like a pretty pretty cool week you, you know you're gonna be around you know friends or a friend or you're gonna meet somebody that you know is you know a good friend um, just don't push anything on anybody So this is in reverse, and this is not very good. <laughs> um, so really what I'm saying, this is like infertile, um, this, is, this is, you know, this actually represents kind of like fertility, you know, like it could represent, you know, the female, um, but it's also uh, it's not it's not really good and you don't want this to happen so just heed the advice here um, just don't push anything and everything this won't happen and, and and this is definitely you know very very powerful and, and very positive so it looks like a pretty good reading I'm really kind of uh, curious I want to pull a I want to pull a an oracle card and see um, what else I can possibly you know tell you I know it's kind of like a transformation uh, for a lot of people it's a big transformation for you Scorpio I can see it um, yeah it's just uh, it's just a little this is a this is kind of like a really complicated reading for even me it's just that this is kind of like not really in a really good position. So I'm just saying just sit back and watch. And pretty soon and your your partner or your friends, they're going to see things your way and it's going to work out just fine. All right. So let's let's pull out let's pull out an oracle card and see what else. <clears throat> Walking tree. Hmm. So, this particular card is kind of weird because it's it's talking about you know letting go of something from your past that might have been you know painful, um, and you know uh, this this is a big transformation here for you. So I mean you can let you can just let that go. 
you know, I, I really didn't expect for that particular card to come up because I was more thinking about, you know, the other part of your reading. But it's just really kind of saying to um, maybe that you're having a hard time letting go, uh, you know, something. But just, you know, it's saying to let go of what no longer serves you. All right, so that's the main message of this card. All right there, Scorpio. All right there. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next week. All right, bye for now.